Hello everyone, and welcome to the 4,000 subscriber thank you video. I cannot believe our little community has grown so much so quickly, and I just wanted to thank each and every one of you who take the time to come here and see our stories, share the adventures, and contribute to our growing community. It is an amazing feeling to wake up every morning and know that there are so many people out there who care so much about learning about the natural world and just enjoying some good old storytelling through all the different games that we play. And as I've been promising, now that my move is finally over, I am going to be getting to playing some other games so that you guys can see even more adventures. Basically, if there's anything to do with animals or greenery in it, I'm probably going to be playing it. But before I got started, I wanted to share a little bit about the beautiful mountain town that I've moved up to. I won't name it, but I will say it's on the east coast, in the mountains, and it's absolutely beautiful here. It's been a stunning adventure, looking around, moving into my own place for the first time, going on hikes, and especially working very hard on a farm for the first time. I would just like to publicly say that Harvest Moon did not prepare me for actually working on a farm all day, in the sun, and the dirt, and the mud, and the bugs that at first are cute, and then maybe not so cute. But it's been a long, hard adventure to get here, and I'm very grateful for all of you who were so patient while I got settled into my new home. As I've said before, we will be getting started on some new videos, some new series, some adventures that I really want to share with you. We're going to be playing games, and hopefully, if you guys are willing, I'm going to be doing what I can to share some of the knowledge I have of the natural world with you while we play. There's fun things coming up. I'm not making any promises, but because so many of you are curious, I wanted to let you know that I'm interested in playing Spore, I'm interested in playing Pixelmon, I'm interested in playing Pokemon itself. Any of the Harvest Moon and Rune Factory games are definitely up for fair play. Sims 2 will be coming back. I actually have a video in the works right now. And we're also going to be playing Sims 4 when that comes out because I, I just can't resist a good Sims game. But we're also going to be going on a lot of real life adventures, some clips of which I have sprinkled in through this video. I really want to go to the local nature parks, uh, conservation centers, the local zoos, local wildlife rescue centers. I want to show you guys up close and personal the unique flora and fauna that live here in the mountains that I am so lucky to live in. I'm only going to be here a year at mo most likely, so I'm going to use that whole year to get as much video and share as much as I can of the beautiful rainforest that I live in now. This is a temperate rainforest, one of only two in the United States, and the fauna is absolutely unique. Now, keep in mind, some of the things shown here are not going to be the actual animals that you can find up here in the mountains. American alligators, for example, are more down the coast along the Florida line and into South America and Central America, as well as Cuba, and not so much up in the mountains of the East Coast. But, like I said, I will be going to zoos and other centers, trying to meet with some officials, and just trying to help educate you guys more about what's out there, because the world is amazing. Even things as small as snails that you can find out in your backyard just absolutely fascinate me. So there's going to be more games, there's going to be more real life adventures. I'm going to figure out unique and special ways to merge the two. So we can have a little bit of greenery and a little bit of gaming. There's some big ideas and some big plans in the works. And if you guys have any suggestions or comments, anything that you want to provide for our community, please, as always, feel free to do so. You know I read everything, and you know I care about everything that you guys say. It's important to me that we're able to come together as a community and not only see what's in my own backyard and share what happens in my life, but be able to share what you guys have. We come from around the entire world. For some of you, seeing a kangaroo in your yard may not be that unique. For others, just living in a desert is a unique experience that is totally the opposite of what I'm living in right now. I hope that as we grow, we're able to share some of those things, and I will be working to try to find ways that we can work together as a community to build things together, just as a hint, and to collaborate with other adventures. So there's going to be some community projects that I hope to get out coming up soon too. But I promise that you guys are always forefront in my mind because I want to make sure that your passion and your curiosity is rewarded. And there is nothing, I think, in this world that is more amazing than that, than that passion and curiosity for the natural world. 
So here are some little bits from around my life. Please feel free to ask questions about them. There will be more vlogs coming up for hiking vlogs, travel vlogs, fun things where we can all share different animals that live in our backyards. And like I said, there will be lots of cool games coming up. And again, thank you so much to all of you who have taken the time to come here and to watch these videos. I set out just to have a fun hobby, and instead I've ended up finding an entire community of people around the world who really love learning about the natural world, and that is, I just love that. But again, thank you to all of you, and thank you to everyone who will still join our community. I can't wait to see what we get into. <laughs> There's so many adventures still in store, guys. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.